All right, so we've got everything there purring along. Windows is all set up. All our drivers are installed. Uh, we're just running some stress tests on it. It runs a 2669 in Cinebench R20. Uh, we got into the BIOS and turned on XMP, so it's running at 3000 megahertz uh, uh, for the RAM speed, so that's running. It seems to be sitting at, in just general use, we've got some tabs open, some background tasks running, some installing, just kind of running it through general use. We're running at about 3.9 gig across all cores, 3.8, 3.9. Um, so it's working pretty well. Tops out at about four. And under full load, we had 40, three degrees top and it's just kind of idling where are we at the moment at 40 39 37 36 a little spike so it's idling at like 30 down to 30s so this thing's doing its job really nicely out of the case uh, I got the heater on at the moment over there because it's kind of cold here, so there's probably a bit of warm air floating around anyway. Um, but it should be about 24C in here. So that's pretty good, 10, 12 degrees over ambient. And yeah, it topped out at 43, so it's idling, yeah, so that's pretty solid. Um, Worked out some of the RGB. The RAM works off software. Um, and everything else is going to buttons at the moment. i still got to get the Mystic Lights for the um, graphics card. Um, but we'll work on that. But we're just sort of getting back to the case. So we're going to just strip down a bit more of the case here and get ready to install things. And have a look at it all.
invincible.
everything's starting to come together really nicely in there so I think overall it's looking pretty clean and pretty good a few things will get like sort of struck down and out of the way but this guy right in the middle is obnoxious so we're going to paint this a bit and make it black because even though this is RGB and there's RGB everywhere we want to be able to control it not have just salmon and yellow and whatever just in the middle so we found a way to paint it somewhere along this line so we're not going to pull the whole thing out because we're just going to spray the end bit there but we'll set this up a bit So we've got it quickly set up here. Um, just give it a quick squirt. Now it's black. So we'll let that dry and then we can put it all back together. I don't think there's anything else that I want to do. The little tiny bits of yellow on the other cord, just a little dash of color. It's not too bad. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, that one was just obscene and upsetting. So, we've got it all back together and everything should be plugged in and we should be ready for an initial boot up with everything in the case. Still not going to show it off all just yet because the power and connections are over there and because suspense and so you can have a look at the bit at the back while I look at the front. Um, but yeah. I think we're good to go. So let's see what happens. Screen. Uh, on. And push. Power. Oh. Everything except the RGB up the top there is working. Everything's quiet. Majors up to turn the RGB header around. Probably just that four. It needs to be plugged in the other way. Uh, but the front one's working good. same green on everything at the moment and it's all running really nicely sounds really nice 
quiet. Back fan's a little bit noisier, but I think it'll be cool. So let's test it out. 